Folks, we got some news out of Michigan, and this could be very significant from the Detroit. Well, actually, we'll go to Jenna Ellis first. Breaking this evening, the County Board of Canvassers in Wayne County, Michigan, refused to certify the election results. If the state board follows suit, the Republican state legislator will select the electors. Huge win for Donald Trump. Very, very interesting. Uh, they found major problems with Let's see here. Absentee voting precincts didn't match the number of ballots cast. The imbalances between August and November are not an exact comparison. But look, there's a lot here. And uh, we've got the perfect person, Sidney Powell, standing by, member of President Trump's legal team. Uh, Sydney, welcome. And I know you've been handling a lot of the Georgia situation and Dominion, but your reaction to the situation in Michigan, please. Well, that's an excellent development, and I would expect the entire Michigan board to reject the, the counts from the ballots. The, the election could not have been more rigged than it was, and I think it also affected the race of uh, Senator John James. The same patterns fall there. We're still doing statistical analysis of that race, but this, the math just doesn't add up for anything, and we know Dominion has a long history of rigging elections. That's what it was created to do to begin with. We've introduced the affidavit of the person who worked with Maduro, a high-ranking military officer who saw it all happen and explained how it worked. And it's it's out for the public to see on my Twitter feed at Sydney Powell number one. So don't tell me there's no evidence of fraud. We've got increasingly mounting evidence of significant fraud across multiple states that cast into question the validity of the elections in every swing state, including Nevada and Arizona and Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, and it went beyond that, too. You know, uh, regarding Dominion, um, you've raised this, and we saw the letter last night. People like Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar have raised significant concerns about Dominion. Now they're trying to make it seem like a right-wing, wacko uh, conspiracy concern, even though people like PBS were raising serious issues about Dominion just before the election. I heard you say today Dominion, the software, was actually designed to be hacked. And I'm looking at one of the agreements they had with the county of Sl Santa Clara on uh, this is a contract between them and Dominion item 226 allows staff to adjust tally based on review of scanned ballot images uh, look you're the lawyer I'm no tech expert but that sounds very <laughs> very funky to me and worse than that it had a back door so it could be manipulated by anyone who could access it through that back door and that was a deliberate feature the affidavit of the young military officer we provided yesterday to the public explains how it was created for that very purpose. So Maduro, I mean, so uh, Hugo Chavez would never lose another election. And he did not after that software was created. He won every single election. And then they exported it to Argentina and other countries in South America. And then they brought it here. And it's a foreign company, no matter how you look at it. So they've already violated the president's order against foreign interference in our elections. Our votes were actually eventually counted in uh, Barcelona, Spain, or Frankfurt, Germany, on foreign servers. It's absolutely stunning. And what's really stunning is the effort that is being mounted against getting the truth out on this. But you have to realize that every tech company, every media company, Every social media company, scads of globalist corporations have been doing business in countries with these dictators that have been installed through this rigged election system for decades. The corruption is actually worldwide. It is going to upset a countless number of elections across this country and, and around the world. All right. But we need do that to get rid of the corruption. It does uh, make a lot of sense now how Joe Biden campaigned, i.e. not campaigning. <laughs> Their team seemed to know something. If this is true about Dominion, and I suspect it is. By the way, um, regarding, well, okay, so we have these concerns. You've got your whistleblower. Who do you bring this to? Um, like, what happens next? Uh, what body do you have to implore to take action? Well, we can add a fraud claim to any of the states in which litigation has already been filed uh, as soon as we can get the 
the rest of the material together that I'm still in the process of collecting because, frankly, witnesses are coming forth every day that are fed up with the corruption in Dominion and in the, in the states and the counties and the country. So we're, we're in taking information at, a, at an amazing level of people who are, want to stop this and are absolutely fed up with it. You and mentioned... We can stop the evidence from the, war, the own mouths of the guy who founded the company. I haven't even had a chance to get that out to the public yet. But they admit, the founder of the company admits, he can change a million votes, no problem at all. The founder of Dominion admitted a long time ago, recently to you. Can, tell us more, please. Publicly. I will, I will tweet out the video later and I'll tag you in it. Please do. At Greg Kelly USA, if you don't mind. Uh, that's pretty wild. Oh, by the way, what can you tell us about? Uh, you mentioned brief, the whistleblower. There is a whistleblower. Remember, whistleblowers who are against President Trump are <laughs> hailed as heroes and deified. Um, what can you tell us about this individual? The one who gave us the affidavit? Yes. Uh, he was a high-ranking military officer. He was very close to uh, Hugo Chavez, and he is just absolutely disgusted with what he's seen and was participating in when he was with Mr. Chavez. He saw how it all worked. He was at meetings where it was fully briefed, and he wants this country to not fall prey to the same corruption and tactics that were used in Venezuela. And I'm sorry, is he an American military officer or a Venezuelan military officer? He was a Venezuelan military officer. He lives in this country now. All right. And you mentioned the CIA today. I heard you during a radio appearance. You want uh, the CIA director fired. It, it seemed a little bit off topic and off message, but w w what's the tie-in, if you don't mind? The, the tie-in is that there's no way these programs could have been run around the world to affect elections without the CIA. We also have had people disclose to us the whole camera program that was created for the CIA and scorecard, which is essentially the same thing. It seems like every country has used something like this to do what it wants to do. Supposedly, ours was invented to influence foreign elections. But that, too, could have been turned on this election. It's all part of the same part and parcel of government interference in elections to make choices against the will of the people. And the will of the people in this country was that Donald Trump win in a landslide. If we can get to the bottom of it, and I am determined to do that, I think we'll find he had at least 80 million votes. The only reason the glitches happened in the system was because he was so had so far many more votes than they had calculated in advance, their algorithms wouldn't perform the functions they'd originally performed or were set to perform. They couldn't make up the vote count. He had gotten so many hundreds of thousands more than they planned. So that's when they had to stop the counting and come up with a way to backfill the votes or destroy votes for Trump while they fabricated votes for Biden. Sidney Powell, who is a former federal prosecutor, by the way, spent 10 years working for the federal government. Um, good luck. And by the way, very quickly, you have evidence is coming in fast. There is a reason for not making it public, correct? I mean, you're going to have a hostile media picking it apart, possibly trying to destroy your case before you can even make it. Is that part of your thinking? Very briefly, if you don't mind. Well, not really. It's a matter of uh, collecting it in the right form and format to be admissible. And we have witnesses that are scared. We have witnesses that are afraid for their lives, afraid for their family. Uh, back in Venezuela, there are all kinds of concerns. People have been threatened, and uh, it's, it's very serious. We're talking about trillions of dollars of worldwide wealth here that was all corrupt, and every force the world except 80 million voters we the people and my little team seem to be against us well millions are praying for you and with you and uh find her on twitter least we can do sydney powell one at sydney powell one the numeral one we appreciate it so much good luck and please stay safe thank you greg you too 
You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.